Hi, I'm Evie Kirkwood from St. Joseph County Parks. Join me as we experience nature together. Outdoor Elements is presented in partnership with the St. Joseph County Parks Department, Regional Parks with Natural Fun, St. Patrick's County Park, Ferretti Bago Creek County Park, Bendix Woods County Park, and the Spicer Lake Nature Preserve. It's all about birds on today's Outdoor Elements. A local ornithologist gives us a close look at the architecture of a bird's nest. We'll get tips on selecting seeds for your backyard bird feeders. But up first, caring for injured birds requires time and commitment. We'll meet an injured owl, hawk, and turkey vulture and learn how these birds were saved with raptor rehabilitation. Raptor Education Center, how would they... From time to time, wild animals do get injured, and there's a great cadre of volunteers known as rehabbers that nurse wild animals back to health, hopefully for re-release. And we're with Darlene Brockman, and Darlene is the co-director of the Lake Milton Raptor Education Center, yep. and you specialize in raptor rehabilitation, I right? do, a raptor rehabilitation and um, education and, with them. And education, okay. Mm -hmm. So who do we have here? We have a barred owl. Um, this is a female. Females are larger than the males by a third. Mm. And how um, would we identify a barred owl? They're native to our area. They are native to our area. Um, you can tell by her backing. Mm -hmm. She has bars going across. Right. And then her front, she has barring going down. Kind of vertical barring. Right. Yeah. What kind of habitat would we find a barred owl? These, the barred owls like to live in forest and they live, like to live in marshy areas. Now, how did you come by this bird? This one was found um, next to train tracks mm. in um, Michigan here. He was found, she was found by hunters and um, she was down on the ground and when a train went by, she just fell over. Oh. Now this bird is a bird that can't be released because of its trauma. From, yeah. It probably flew into the train. It's head trauma and it's got lim limited vision in her left eye. Ah, okay, all right. So that makes this bird mm -hmm. unreleasable. And so once you nursed it back to health, my understanding is, first of all, you have to have a permit to be a raptor rehab. Correct, right? yes. And then there's an additional permit process to have a bird for education to retain it. Yes. Right? What kinds of things, I mentioned that you have to have permits, but you know, what kinds of cages or things do you have to have to be able to do this? There is cage um, requirement sizes that we have to have. Um, she is housed outside in a large chamber. And you kind of have to come up with some things to keep the birds interested or stimulated, right? Yes, we do. Yeah, what kinds of things? We actually give them um, toys, dog toys to play with. Really? They love picking them up and wow. bring, carrying them around and tearing them apart. That's amazing. Normally, this if this bird was a uh, you know, fully flighted wild bird, it would go out and hunt and get mice and things. Or uh, what, mm -hmm. what do you feed it in captivity? In captivity, we feed her mice because in, uh, normally out in the wild for her, she does catch mice and voles, okay. um, so we do feed her mice, but then also we also get um, fish because the barred owls are also eat fish uh -huh. and frogs. So we go get little minnows and put them in their water dish, and by morning they're gone. They're gone. Okay. So they love the, the minnows. Yep, yep. Now you have brought here today a couple of other birds that we could take a look at. We did. So why don't we go ahead and put, this bird has a name. The, her name is Holly. Holly, mm -hmm. you must have gotten her near the holidays. We did, not last year, last November she came in. Okay, all right. So we well, got her near the holidays. It's nice that she's uh, back to almost full health mm -hmm. and, and uh, just isn't able to to, to fly and hunt on her own, but let's, let's take a look at the couple other birds that you brought. Okay. All right. Now, Darlene, the owl that you had had feathered feet. This bird has no feathers on its feet. This is a beautiful red-tailed hawk. Correct. And uh, boy, yeah, definitely the action there is all in those talons, right? They are. And this is another bird that's native to our uh, area, and it's a beautiful adult. We can tell by the red coloring in the tail. And the immature birds have kind of a barred brown tail. 
and she's excited to be outside. Now, tell me about this bird. This bird, again, is unreleasable. She, he, she is. And she's got a damaged wing, it looks she's like. She's got a wing injury, if you can see how, if I can turn her. Yeah. Um, she has a wing droop. Mm -hmm. So she was actually trapped for a falconry bird, but then they found out that she had an injured wing. Injured wing. So she was transferred to education program. Okay, excellent. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, birds like this are kind of birds, I think of them as being out in the open, you know, hunting out in the open. So what does, what does a red-tailed hawk eat? Red-tailed hawk will eat a variety of food. Mm -hmm. They will eat mice, rats, rabbits. They'll eat um, squirrels. They oh, love sure. squirrels, right. chipmunks, yep. ground squirrels. Um, so they're a mammal eater okay. more than a bird more eater. More than a bird eater, right. They, yep, they, don't, they do not catch their food on the fly. Which is a good point. So a red-tailed hawk is going to pounce down with Correct. those big talons and grab whatever prey off mm -hmm. of the ground. And of course that wonderful hooked beak is what they use to kind of tear apart their, the meat off of the, Correct. Off of the bone there. They so. also have on one of their talons is a sharp area, almost like a knife, mm. and that's how they can slit open food too. Okay, wonderful. Okay, well great. And I know briefly you mentioned earlier to me before we actually um, started talking here on the camera that the scales on their feet is almost like a fingerprint Correct. for a bird, right? Yes, that is their fingerprint. Each bird, uh, their scales on their feet are different and mm. that would identify them. Okay. Just right. like our fingerprints. That's amazing. All right, so you have one more bird that we can take a look at that, that you have rehabbed. Yes. And that will be a turkey vulture, right? A turkey right? vulture. Okay, I love turkey vultures. <laughs> so let's meet your turkey vulture. Okay, sounds good. This is a turkey vulture with twisted feathers, which this is not a normal condition. So Darlene, this turkey vulture, um, how did this one come to you? Um, this one was found on the ground um, about two years ago. Hunters found her on the ground just running. Mm. And she was actually, her feather condition has greatly improved. Okay. But she has twisted feathers, uh -huh. her primaries, and she's never flown in her life. Never so flown, far. a little underweight. So yes. something happened, and obviously it's a it's a bird that was malnutritioned probably as it was when it was young. Yes. Right. And of mm -hmm. course, a turkey vulture very different from the other birds that we've looked at. These um, birds eat carrion; they eat dead meat. Correct. Right? Yes, they do. What do you feed this bird? This bird does get dead animals. Yeah. Um, she gets rats and. Um, Sometimes even if um, we have old bones of, of a bunny, a rabbit, or something, we'll, she'll put them in there and she will eat just, them. Just picks those. It yeah. has to be something that's opened, because ah, turkey right. vultures cannot open their own food. Okay, that's a good point. I know as a rehabber, you rely on donations to help with supplies and food and constructing cages. If somebody wants to help the Lake Milton Raptor Education Center, how would they go about getting you contributions? Um, they can contact us through our website. Okay, and we'll have that website on the Outdoor Elements mm -hmm. website. And of course, if people are ever interested in finding a rehabber, I know that usually the state DNRs on their website have a list of licensed Rehabber, so it's always important to find a licensed rehabber. Correct. All right, Darlene, thank you so much for the not only the oh, work welcome. that you do thank in you. helping to care for these birds that mm -hmm. couldn't make it in the wild otherwise, mm -hmm. but also for sharing us with us today. Thanks thank so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Up next, birds build nests of grass, twigs, mud, or other materials to raise their young. Each bird species builds a unique structure. We'll look at many bird nests and learn what bird crafted them in Bird Nest ID. Here are some photos of rime ice taken by Craig Kirkwood along a marsh in Cass County, Michigan in February. Rime is a coating of white ice particles created when water droplets freeze on a surface of an object. When fog occurs in freezing conditions, it often creates rime covering plants and shrubs with a frosty coat. Thanks for sharing your pictures, Craig. If you have some pictures you'd like to share, we'd love to see them. Just go to the Outdoor Elements website. 